Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and huge shout out to JTips and my Saucony family for sending this special collaboration my way. This is actually the first Saucony sneaker we are doing on the channel. So I am beyond excited to discuss the JTips collaboration with Saucony on the Grid Azura silhouette. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome in. Today is a special unboxing since this is a JTips collaboration. One of my friends I've known for quite some time now and Saucony. So we'll go through the overview and story behind this sneaker. Then we'll jump into size and fit followed by how I styled this crazy but insanely amazingly beautiful color blocking and then we'll conclude with how much these will be retailed at and where you can find these all right so let's jump into it i first had opened up this and i got the box and i opened it up and found this cute little card in here it says j tips first shoe in collaboration with Saucony originals uh this is j tips very first sneaker for those of you who've never heard of j tips i actually met jay on my very first sneaker con event in texas and my goodness he rolls deep with a crew i I was literally intrigued by his insanely amazing style, specifically his hat game. So Jay is known specifically for doing these amazing hats. He's done some sick collaborations with Hat Club. I've seen lines down the block to just snag one hat from him. And one of the things that just really differentiates Jay from so many people who've done sneaker collaborations is truly his love and passion for designing things. I know for a fact that he really truly came from the bottom up in creating something that was missing in the hat industry and he really made it his own. He is one of those types of guys that literally when he says he's going to do something, he's going to do something. The last time I saw Jay was at ComplexCon actually, it seems forever ago, but I remember he was actually talking to me back then about having his very first sneaker and fast forward to now it's happened you get these people all the time who are all talk but no game jay tips literally when he says he's going to do something he is going to do something and that is something that just makes him so different and separates him from so many who have tried and aspired to have a sneaker collaboration so more power to you, Jay. I am so excited that you were able to land this collaboration with such an amazing brand such as Saucony. I can't wait to dive into just kind of the story and the concept behind what really truly inspired him in creating this amazing looking sneaker. So as you've probably already seen, lots of stories, lots of images have already come out that have been leaked with JTips actually releasing the sneaker in different locations. One of the things I do love about JTips is that I just see his hustle and his grind. He literally is out there at every single event trying to get the word out, his name out there, and really just meeting his fans in person. And one of the cool things that I saw he was doing is actually signing sneaker boxes getting to meet each and every one of the fans out there that have been in love with his hats and his designs for a very long period of time and really just showing and showcasing his very first sneaker collaboration. 
So as far as the entirety of this, we've got different types of materials used. So we've got premium suede overlays, as you can see, we've got this light blue and this lovely, just rich pink that he used on the front of the upper. The meshing is really cool. It kind of has almost a bronzy vibe to it, but you can really actually see it through this underneath. As we work our way up to the laces, we've got gray laces. There's also purple, so you can decide how you want to swap it. But the way it was tied up was half purple, half gray kind of. And I really actually liked the look and feel of that. So I left it underneath. We've got a hot pink mesh for the tongue. And as we work our way up, this is where you're getting J tips logo savior and then Saucony's logo underneath. We have Saucony on the other side for that kind of a uh, co-branding going on both tongues. And that is just in a nice, simple black color scheme. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Jay Tips's nickname has been the Uptown Savior. So that has been a pretty uh, relevant logo that he tends to use on other collaborations that he's done in the past. Let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. Right, so working our way to the side paneling, this is where a lot of the key details really are prominent. So you'll see that we've got still some of those purple hues on the premium suede used on the medial and lateral side of the sneaker. And then we've got underlays again of this really just kind of sheer meshing, which you can actually see that pop of pink underneath coming and shining through from the tongue. And then we've got this really cool faux pony hair used on the Saucony logo. And it's got this Z print with some nice embroidered uh it looks almost like it's um, a copper tone that it's embroidered and outlined in. Uh, but this is actually paying homage to uh, the Atmos Air Max 1. So really cool that they incorporated that. As we work our way underneath, we've got some flowers. One of the cool things I loved about the early drop was that J-Tips decided to go into flower shops and really coordinated flowers with this. Uh, one of the things he talks about, or I've heard him say before, is kind of like his theme of a flower flower growing from the concrete. As you know, it is very difficult for a flower to actually kind of break through and grow through concrete, getting water and sun. It's almost impossible. And I feel like that really exemplifies how hard J tips has actually grinded and worked to achieve what he's achieved. As we wrap around to the back, we've got more hits of that premium blue suede, more details of that floral print. And then we've got this checkered print on the back, which is paying homage to Nipsey hustle one of j tips favorite rappers i love how he's kind of coordinated all of these like crazy different patterns it's something that i would never think to actually pair together but they really just coordinate quite nicely and then we've got the same thing going on the lateral side of the sneaker is the medial as far as the back goes on the collar we've got more of that pink hot pink mesh with the Saucony logo embroidered in there and then we've got a cotton inner lining that says made by j tips embroidered in white and then we've got pink and blue for the interior and it actually has a saying in here remember who fronted uh, so definitely some powerful words that jay has used uh, to highlight things that he's gone through while working his way up and making it to this point so i love that that's kind of something that he really wants to remember as he has that kind of printed in the graphic print here on the back of the midsole in white the sneaker is then completed with this beautiful light pink tone and then we've got this clear pink outsole with again some other pops of color in this blue and hot pink colorway. 
All right, so let's take a look at those details. Actually, before we do that, the um, insole on here is different as well. So we've got Uptown Bronx uh, 2007 on the other side paneling as well. All right, let's take a look at those last and final details. All right, so let's take a look at this really cool special box. One of the things I love about Saucony is their full storytelling. I feel like from the package to the sneaker, they always coordinate something so different and the packaging is always on point. So we've got J-Tip's first shoe here in collaboration with Saucony. I love the writing. Uh, I remember who fronted. I remember who did not see the vision. I remember who changed the conversation. Uh, that's really cool. I love that. Uh, just really just passionate and the words are just so moving. So I love that J tips has decided to kind of put those words on there. Never stop believing because dreams do come true. Take a picture in these uh, and on the bottom. I had this crazy idea one day. Really cool. Really cool to see how things really came full circle. So love to see the full packaging on these. As far as size and fit goes, I would say stick true to size in this one. So I am a seven and a half. I do have higher narrow feet. So take that into consideration. If you have flatter, wider feet, this could actually differentiate something a little bit different from my own since we have different types of feet. All right, so now let's jump into how I style this really, really crazy, but cool looking color blocked sneaker. I really wanted to keep it pretty simple with the palette for the first look, more of a monochromatic feel. So I decided to go head to toe in a light pastel pink Pink. Lots of different pink hues used throughout this and I just feel like light pastel pink is just something that works and vibes perfect with this since this is a very kind of loud sneaker. I want it to really be the statement piece for that first look. Espresso but it's triple shy. I don't sweeten it. Y'all getting slapped on cause you sleeping in on God. Aside from me, I don't believe in shit. I'm done fucking, but she telling me to leave it in. A lot of blessings piling up that I ain't even wish for. None at the wolf for y'all. I'm locking the fridge door at the crib, cutting hits. I ran through the catalog, came to conclusion, no one's touching this. Just finished the maiden voyage, hopping out the main flag. And then for the second look, I decided to go with some purple, but this time more of a pastel purple. Again, we've got purple on the laces, purple on the side paneling. So I decided to go with this sheer purple top and a sheer purple mini skirt. It's a whole grind, gave my son the credit, bought it to me with no cosign. I don't need a loan, I'm on 10, I'm my own dime. Y'all got no control to take the sign away your whole life still. In the mud up to my neck, I love a spy day. I still let the world's way, shoulder showing on, can't still on one. I'm all off days, still prefer some color skin over the bra spray. Looking cool as fuck as I walk away, get the job done. I'm James Bond and LeBron James. This is not a cosplay, swear I'm in real life. Then for the last and final look, decided to wear a denim trench coat and some nice just blue cargo pants with a simple white tank top. Definitely denim is a really great thing to dress these up with, uh, but definitely feel free to play with patterns as well. I feel like that would be a nice, fun option. Right when it feels right. They see the wind street, then this shit is long winded. I don't see you at the top. You cannot visit all the Dave's hot chicken at a crib with some goth bitches. Get me on any beat, you know I'm going off with it. And when my time comes and that shit will come, no, I'm ready. I always said what I ain't for, a bitch, I hold it steady. I feel for anybody trying to step in the way of this. I handle shit by any means.
check the stats. Yeah, I got a couple. Yeah. I don't try the bar. Nah. nah, I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Yeah. Now I feel like Russell. Yeah. Feel like John Moran. Hey. Need a triple double. Yeah. Told him check the stats. Hey. Yeah, I got a couple. I don't try the bar. Nah, nah I never fumble. I'm the MVP. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so as far as the retail goes, these are dropping today globally. So these will be retailed at $160 at most of your sneaker retailer stores. So definitely, definitely, definitely snag a pair of these. I think this is one of the most intricate, cool looking sneakers as far as Sockety Collabs go. And again, this is JTip's very first sneaker. I am absolutely beyond proud of you, Jay, for everything that you have accomplished. I cannot wait for you to just achieve so much more. You are by far one of the most hard working individuals I've seen in our community. Sneakers, hats, you name it. You are really pushing and moving the culture forward. So thank you so much for this. Super ecstatic to have this special sneaker in my collection. I'm going to be rocking this actually today uh, and many more days. So definitely sag a pair. Check out these today for today's drop. That is it for this unboxing and review. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We'll catch you all next one. I was at the bottom. Now you know I'm climbing. Now they send a deal. They know I ain't signing. They've been trying.